Welcome back to HNL Blue Sky. Uh, I can't believe it's been a year now since I headed off to Madrid. Met so many great people in my classes, out the streets, even beyond when I did spring break in Germany and France. Five parked in Spain in my time there, but today we're focusing on the metro system of Madrid and so stuff that's going on now and stuff that I would do if I was in charge. So. Get ready, here we go. I've been sitting on my own plans for a while, but then let's look at this 2009 map, which was the vision for the Metro by 2028. However, that was right when the Great Recession was, and Southern Europe didn't fare as well as the U.S. or their northern counterparts. So Line 11, its extensions were pushed back, and obviously now the direction has changed to serve Valdeba instead. And by combining these two maps, I came up with this. So I know they think they actually wanted to extend the uh, light rail lines to Eluche, or Pame at least, at least together, and then they would branch off, but in the original Thing for it. Line 2 just didn't continue beyond Colonel Hardin, and Line 1 would have a branch from La Fortuna. You could do a branch of Line 2, could continue down and serve La Fortuna and San Francisco, so you don't have to deal with branching on Line 11 at that end point there, and it would extend Line 2, and also, if, we, if you really want that Line 4 serving Las Rosas Station, why don't you just extend it and replace the Ramal? There's many ideas I've had with place on the mall, I'm sure they have ideas, but in this case, it just makes sense kind of straight across, but it's kind of going through Casa Campo there. Okay, so the name on the map there for Predator de Oeste is currently actually called Puebla Oeste on line 2, and would probably continue up 503 for turning to Mahonda and A Las Rosas. There are some areas of extension that I feel a little too classy, that might be a little harder to get these ideas out, but here, not so much. They could definitely tunnel this all the way to Principio Pio and then because the trams are on standard gauge they might just make that all single tracked at the end there or keep it double track through everything else but just tunnel the rest of the way maybe two or three stops within Casa de Campo maybe to the Telefreco station three or four outside that between line 2 and Casa de Campo. In the 2009 map, lines 5 and 11 would have had dedicated stations built just to connect to line 8. Well, obviously now line 8's moving toward the airport and replacing most of line 11's northern stretch north of Logroño and now it looks like they're just going to connect it to terminals 1, 2, 3. It's kind of weird. Like, people are up there going straight to terminal 1, 2, 3. It's like I think it's actually like low cost and star alliance I think use those but Iberian and one will use terminal four I'm not sure if it's fair to have everybody using line five to get to the airport to, to transfer to line eight or only for people using terminal four but this map mentions El Canvarel open this as a night open in 2017 and I've been thinking what if we just make Metro is just, it's kind of its own line, so we don't have the Ramal anymore. We can just move that color over for the shuttle line over in the Metro Este area and just keep the two and seven their main zone one. The, basically, the, the current terminals we would, I could say, instead of they are necessary to a terminal of seven at this point, but Metropolitan, Metropolitano, up and coming area, they hope to have 14,000 people there when everything is finished. I've looked at a few. Look, that are on maps quite a few times before, but it's like line two, maybe one stop parallel barrio del puerto, one stop bar parallel barrio del puerto, and then dive down to El Canvarel, where Hospital de Arnes continues moving a few blocks over. There's a little ridge right there, so Avenida de Berlin, Moscow, El Canvarel on the loop there, it's kind of enough to make its own line. But I want to build a new train station to cross one more to Barrio Puerto, even though that's technically one zone out now. Technically, that's set up for Line 7 loading gauge, so it makes sense to adjust for that. 
but that is the only way that this could probably work between line 2 and 7. I think since the TFM owns line 9, the Argonda, I kind of shorten that to the Argonda line or Linea A, and they could use Linea C for Canvaral or Coslada, since those are the two major towns Metro Este would go through on the other side of the Canias line. Yeah, mix it sell that and then just make obviously following the 2009 map to make the uh, Metro Norte portion plus everything basically north of Charmatine. That's currently line 10, a new line, and then move line 10 to meet the Fern Canal station at least, and then maybe a new stop halfway between Monte Carmelo and Las Tablas, which on the 2009 map is called Puerta del Norte, and I think. That would make sense instead of kind of the post branch line in the new future map thing, not related to 3 and 11's current projects. As well, I integrate line 14, make it act like line 11, where you just tap off when you leave those northern stations now, but you don't have to tap in to the main line at Charmatin. Speaking of line 11, it's obviously the biggest change to the 2009 map. So stuff that's actually happening, we we're going to go to Avenida de Ilustración, which is a line that kind of form more of an outer loop, but now mostly just to connect the eastern lines. As for line beyond Conde Castello, we do not know any of the stations that will be in between the uh, transfer stations along the route. So I was looking at maps, and I kind of predict based on its routing from going to Vintaros and beyond, is that... I don't think there will be any stations in between Conde Castel. I mean, Taurus because there's a highway there. And I think anything else will be too close to being Taurus, so I just might as well. I would add a second station on the other side of the Amundena Cemetery on Calle Trece Rosas before turning north to La Lipa. That is on Avenida de Marques de Cordova. And originally there was going to be a station called that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to rename it. But I think it would. Just go straight to Puerto Nuevo after that, even though that is a pretty dense area. Then I said that it will, from Puerto Nuevo, it will turn onto Oroto Soria. Probably, let's say probably another one for the A2. And then Oroto Soria Station, sneak through Canelas, well, past the thing else on Police Academy. I think at Javier del Quinto, from Maricel, it would follow the Canelas lines to the airport, with obviously a stop at that new hospital. Enfermera Isabel Central. And then continue, then bank around north, one more stop north of the airport. Continue that line all the way to La Morelia on the currently, which is Metro Norte, or in the case of the 2009 map, line 14. I was so classic places earlier. They're in between the airport and La Morelia. It's a little classy. There's some golf clubs in that area. Metro Norte be crossing under the R2. We have a vacant place next to a golf course called the Mirador Garden. I was thinking if you were to extend a line through there, it probably would follow the Camino Ancho to Avenida de Bruxelles and then to meet up with Moralea. So you also would help people in the north to get to the airport without driving or taking a bus. You have to kind of like loop it further south, loop back north. If you were to add another station there, Braga. Or it feels like it's kind of flattening out and it's going to loop back right around now. Possibly under the tarmac, like some lines do, or I think there's a highway. Just like how line 7, 9, and 10 operate today, I was thinking of doing the same with line 3 at Moncloa. Since you have the island between 3 and 6 bits, weird since that line 3 train just comes from Arguez, and line 6 train goes toward Arguez there, you could swap the terminal line. So, the current cyber people which is boarding for southbound trains becomes a terminus of the Line 3 main line where the island with Line 6 becomes a northbound continuation to Aravaca and Valdemarin. Next up is Puerto Puerta de Giro, which is will be a substation for Computense in the whole University City area. From there you would enter Zona de Uno Aravaca where you would meet Metro de Giro Linea 2 from there, there's a small park I found called Parque Golondria, where I put a park there. It's only just kind of, almost kind of like like a green belt, I guess, kind of continuing. It kind of kind of terminates at the M30, which from there you have 
Fuentralia, which could theoretically continue line 14 in this new iteration. You know, keep reactivate search with the splitting for line 14 from the south would continue to Charmatine and then follow the original line 11 plan to Barra de Piar, Avienda, the Illustracion, Fuentralia, Valdemarin. It could even take over my plan for a Trace Bay, except from a session of Arca, it would go under. And a Parque de Oeste station, and then it would follow the Ramal to Opera. So it might probably just be easier to kind of do the opposite of Line 11 now, going from the north, serving the western part, take it to Opera since that Opera is a single track station. Just makes sense to just terminate there. Line Forte could probably be a good reason to prevent the whole branching thing with Line 10. And use the uh, unoccupied platforms right now, which were originally designed for the original plan of Line 11. Not sure what 14 was going to be. I think there's like a whole museum part up there that has extra tracks. So maybe that was the plan for Line 14. Although there was nothing concrete yet for a land extension through the city to Mendez Alvaro. That's something that has been looked at. And I think that would be interesting, even though it's kind of parallel with Line 10 again from another station to Gregorio Marignon, but that does connect to Line 7. So it certainly is a, a different, there's another line that doesn't connect to it, Nuevos Ministerios. Yeah, hopefully, maybe if that happens, then maybe Line 4, there'll be a bridge between 4 and 8 there. And then turn to the Ostracania uh, Science Station, because right now that's kind of disconnected. Yeah, I think, no, yeah, that's kind of a good point, Dan. There's not really much else. You know, there's kind of nothing. But there are definitely other points on the circle that don't have where Line 6 doesn't connect to anything else. For example, one of my original concepts was for a line that basically is a relief line, as basically being Metro Norte. But then, it will stop between Charmatine until it leaves the circle of Line 6. It just meets another line, at least one other line, as well as five Circania stations, and two of them being the main, being the two major stations of Tramatine and Atocha. Our line was going to go to Leganes Central and would pass by the Estadio Butarque, and that one would meet six and seven at Guzman Albuena, but it would exit at Carpatana, which only is served by line six. Like better the original. Both ideas that were thought of probably while I was while still over there, or this new idea that kind of was like, let's look at this as a nine map, and probably was some things I like to see based on that that should still go through. Some other thoughts I've still kept here, and maybe some just questions out of everything. Maybe the same line further north might have some actual footing. Not sure about three as is, but I just don't think. Line 3 and the original idea really makes sense because we connect to line 6 four times, which feels a little excessive. To me, it feels like it makes more sense to continue line 3 straight into Aravaca. But what are your thoughts? But uh, next time, hopefully, it should be a much shorter video. I don't have much on the Circanius, but again, I actually did that map first in paint and then I came back to this. That's what I have to say for this video. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and strike, strike the bell.